So in this video, I want to go over some ways that I like to track jobs while I'm going through the job hunting process. Um, I know this might seem like a weird thing, like why would you track the jobs that you apply to? But that's what I want to kind of go over in this video. I think there's a lot of reasons why you might want to consider doing that if you don't already. I also want to show you all this little worksheet that I use. Um, very simple in Google Sheets, but it just kind of helps me track where I'm at in the process with each company as I go through the application interview process and things like that and how it kind of helps me navigate the job hunt so let's go over here and jump over and get into it so as you can see it's a it's a pretty simple sheet um just you know nothing fancy no fancy formulas or anything like that um the important things that i think you have here to track are pretty much the company name of course the role you're applying for i like to also put the website uh, or the URL that I can, you know, find more information about the company or the job application. So it could be either one the application URL or the website or both. I like to have a column for whether or not I already applied to the job because sometimes I might list a company on there that I want to apply to or I might make a list of companies, but maybe I didn't, you know, finish the entire application right away. So I like to put whether or not I finished applying on there. Then I like to have the application date or the date that I applied because Again, you want to know kind of when you started corresponding with them and just kind of just to help kind of track how long the process takes, you know, with different companies and things like that. It's just kind of good to have my opinion. And I also like to have a column for like whether or not I got an interview, but you can also do this with kind of color coordination, which is something we'll talk about here too. We'll see in a second. So I would say the first thing you want to do is definitely keep in mind what colors you want to use to sort of indicate where you are in the process. So for me, the yellow ones here. Um, I didn't hear back from yellow is just like the initial color. I make anything that I apply for. I just turn it yellow. Right. Um, so it just means kind of like neutral. And then the red ones obviously are the ones I got rejected from. So I just pretty much got some sort of either automated response from them or I went through the interview process and then didn't get the job. Then I just go back in a bit and turn it red. And then green is obviously that I got you know, a job interview. Um, and then green is obviously that I got, you know, an interview or whatever. Sometimes I might change that as I go through the process, but just at a quick glance, it's just the easy way to kind of know, you know, who already said no, how many am I still waiting on to get back to me instead of going through email and things like that. So for me, that's just like a quick way to kind of visualize where I'm at in the process with each company. So the reason why I like to put the role in the website and, and or the application URL is because, you know, a lot of times you're not just applying for one role. You might find yourself applying for multiple jobs. So I think on this job search, I was applying for a lot of like project roles, uh, like project management or project coordinator roles and then product roles. So, you know, very similar, but still different. And you would probably speak to different things in each interview, depending on which, you know, one you were getting interviewed for. So I like to put the job, the specific job title for each role right there next to the company name. So that, you know, if I do get interviewed by them, I can go look at specifically, you know, things about that specific job title or especially the job title at that company, whether it's on Glassdoor or whatever research that, you know, you want to do, you just know specifically what job title you actually applied for. Because once you start applying for a ton of jobs, I'm sure y'all know it gets really complicated to remember what you applied for and when. And so that's why I find this sheet like incredibly helpful. The website is super useful or the application URL is super useful because the application a lot of times has a lot of things they're looking for in that role specifically. So if you get to the point of doing an interview, a lot of times you want to brush up real quick on just what they want in that role, what they're looking for, things they spoke to, you know, different requirements that they had. So you might want to look over that stuff and having the application URL right there is super easy. It makes it easy to just kind of go click on it um, and find it again. And then the website is always good because these companies Sometimes it's very hard to find like the website you're looking for or companies might have a very similar name to each other. So making sure you have the exact company that you're looking for and the, the URL right there in the row makes it really easy if you get an interview to just go there and, you know, read the about section, read the founding team, 
read the values of the company. It makes it really easy to kind of just go uh, back and do more research if you need to. And like I said, the application date is good because you just want to keep track of where you are in the process. So if you need to follow up or like send an email to somebody, uh, you know, or nudge somebody, it's good to just know how how long you've been waiting or, you know, to be able to reference certain dates. You have that uh, for your own record. Honestly, I mean, that that's pretty much it for this one, y'all. I told you it's a pretty simple sheet. I mean, anybody can make this. It, you know, is, is really simple. It's a matter of going in and just dropping some headings in an Excel sheet or a Google sheet. It helps me keep my, my entire job searching process organized and focused. So, you know, if I'm trying to make sure I apply to a certain number of jobs, or if I want to make sure that, you know, I I apply to a fresh number of jobs each week or something like that. This helps me keep it very, um, like, simple, like knowing where I'm at, how many I've applied for, how many already said no, things like that. And also, too, you don't want to apply to the same company more than once or to two different roles, you know, if that's not something you're trying to do on purpose. So a lot of times when you're looking for these jobs, you might end up seeing, you know, the same role at this. Uh, you might see different roles at the same company pop up and you might just be in kind of like application frenzy. And so you might just start applying for different things, not even realize that you're applying for another job, you know, at the same company you already applied for for a different role, which could not look that good and it can hurt your eyes so you just don't want to do that if that's not something you're purposely trying to do so having this list also kind of lets you know who you've already applied for or with and this is a, this is really important if you're using something like zip recruiter or like those one touch apply sort of services you know you definitely want to make sure that you have a, a good list of you know who you've already touched base with made contact with heard from been you know rejected from applied to waiting to hear back from and I just find this is the simplest kind of quickest way to kind of keep my eyes on all that stuff. So let me know if this is helpful for y'all down in the comment section below. Let me know what y'all use to track your jobs on the job searching process or job hunt. Or do you track them at all? Like, what do you do right now for this whole process? Do you just kind of go through your email? Like, let me know down in the comment section below. But until next time, guys, this is Darius. See you on the next video. All right. Peace.